Hello and welcome to the FPGA Remote Lab of Hochschule bonn rhein sieg in Germany. I want to give you an update on our Remote Lab because we have some interesting and exciting news. But before we start with that, just a quick overview. What is an FPGA Remote Lab? So here you see the structure. An FPGA is a, pro uh, is a programmable digital circuit. And in our Remote Lab, you can test out such a circuit on real hardware on our server. So you are sitting at home or at the university with your computer, you design an FPGA, and then you can upload the design files, the binaries, to the server in our university. Here, the binary, the FPGA configuration is programmed on real hardware. It's executed and you get as a result the output of the FPGA and a measurement of the current and uh, thereby of the power consumption. That's free. It's a free uh, open educational resource and uh, we hope you can use it. So speaking of FPGAs, um, that is um, the news we have because we have a new FPGA available. In the past we had a Cyclone 4 and a Cyclone 5 And now we also have a Cyclone 10 available. And in this overview, you see the different parameters, the different properties of the FPGAs. And what you can see is uh, that the Cyclone 10, the new FPGA we provide, is much larger. So you can implement circuits that are much larger than you could do before. Another significant difference between the FPGA is uh, CMOS technology and core voltage. Cyclone 4 has 16 nanometer and 1.2 volt. Cyclone 5, uh, 28 nanometer and 1.1 volt. And uh, the new FPGA again has uh, the larger technology with 16 nanometer with a low voltage of 1.0 volt. However, the CMOS technology is a low power process. So first, check out what you can do with the higher capacity of the FPGA. There is a YouTube playlist about pattern recognition with an FPGA. And uh, the code is available on GitHub. You could simulate the FPGA. But so far, our FPGAs in the remote lab were too small for that large machine learning uh, implementation. And now with the Cyclone 10, you can implement this design on the FPGA that we have available. Let's see how that works. We have already completed the design and we are just entering here our remote lab. Then you can select the Cyclone 10 video. Here you upload the binary and start the experiment. You program the FPGA. With the play symbols video, you start The video. The FPGA works with 60 Hz frame rate, so you have real-time processing of the video signal. The frame grabber has an update rate of about 1 Hz. We zoom in a bit and we see the operation of the image processing algorithm. The FPGA detects different symbols and indicates the symbols with different colors. More information can be found in the playlist for this experiment. Regarding power consumption, there is a YouTube video that explains an experiment to compare power consumption. I invite you to make this experiment with the Cyclone 4 and the Cyclone 10 FPGA. And uh, you will really observe that the Cyclone 10 will have lower power consumption especially static power consumption. So on the trailer, you will see who is involved in providing you with a remote lab. So have a look at the trailer to um, see that information. And thanks for watching. Have a good time.